Hi, I trust this finds you well. I hope you got through the week okay. Here's a thought from Parshat Vayishlach. We read of the dramatic confrontation, the reuniting of two brothers, Yaakov and Esav. Esav hated his brother Yaakov to the extent that he wanted to kill him. Yaakov had to flee from home and he was away for over 20 years. And now he returns back home and he understands that Esav is approaching him with 400 armed warriors. Yaakov has to come up with a plan. How do I approach? So he comes up with a three-pronged approach. He prays to the Almighty. He sends gifts to his brother to try and soften him up. And he develops a, a military strategy. He divides his family into certain groups as they're going to progress towards Asaph. And then when he actually arrives there, the Torah describes some of the words that Yaakov shares with Asaph. And some of the words are, Brother, I've just come back from our uncle Lavan. I was there for a long time and I've returned with oxen and donkeys and so forth. And the commentaries ask a, a very basic question. Really? That is the information you're going to share? It seems irrelevant. It's private information. Why are you sharing that with somebody who wants to kill you? So I read a beautiful interpretation, a beautiful insight from Rabbi Feder, who quotes the commentaries, who say that Yaakov is telling us something very, very important in life. Perhaps it's a fourth approach of how to engage with somebody who hates you, who doesn't like you, where the relationship has failed. Yes, we can pray. Yes, we can offer gifts to soften them up. And yes, we can even come up with a strategy to remain safe. But a fourth approach is to share personal information, to show that person that you really care. You care about them and you want to come close to them. And indeed, that's what happened. Esau recognized, he felt how genuine Yaakov was and they fixed the relationship. They were indeed reunited. What a lesson. As humans, we hope that our relationships go well and we work on them. But sometimes, as we all know, relationships sometimes fail. There's broigas, there's faribles, perhaps not as, as, as extreme as Yaakov and Esau, but we don't get along, we don't talk. Yaakov is reminding us that if we really want to come close to one another, perhaps let's share what's on our heart. Let's share something that's meaningful, that's personal. Let the other person recognize that you really do want to fix the relationship, that you do want to express closeness. And please God, if that's reciprocated, those relationships will be healed. What a tremendous insight from Yaakov Avino from our forefather Jacob. Let our relationships be healed. Let us work on them. Let us never give up on a relationship. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom. Take care.